Hello everyone, welcome back. Today is all about this chunky knit planter I made from an upcycled tin can. I'll be showing you how to create a super easy knit effect with polymer clay that could be applied to any surface that's oven safe. Okay, you'll just need a tin can and some polymer clay for this DIY. To begin, start by kneading a piece of clay, then roll it out a bit and divide it into equal parts. Following that, take a piece and roll it with your hands to create an even clay strand. This takes a little bit of patience and works best if you don't put so much pressure on it while rolling back and forth. I got the best results when I took my time and applied light pressure. Okay. Following that, fold your strand in half. This is where you check if it's long enough for whichever surface you plan to apply it on. Keep in mind, it will stretch about 1-2 to two inches once you twist it. To create your knit effect, it's best to work with a set of two clay strands at a time. Simply twist your clay strands in opposite directions. Once you've done that, lay them next to each other and lightly secure them by applying pressure. At this point, it should look like a clay braid. Keep attaching your braids to each other very lightly just to keep track of your pattern. Once you feel you've made enough to cover your tin can, take your braids and attach them to your tin can by simply applying pressure on the top and bottom until the excess clay breaks off. The polymer clay should adhere to the tin can very well, no glue is needed. You can do one braid at a time or work in multiples, just make sure you keep to your pattern. Once you've covered your whole surface with knit, roll out an additional strand of clay and add it to the top and bottom to cover your squished edges. Lightly apply pressure all around and it should stick to the polymer clay under. And that's it! We just had our first snowfall yesterday and this knit planter looks so cute and cozy on my fall mantle. Perfect decor for the winter time. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Okay then, that's it for today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!